Hey guys, and welcome to today's Spelunky Daily Challenge. So we're gonna be going right into it here. I've heard from a couple of people, namely uh, Austin, Last Grey Wolf, and Zero Doxy, also known as Mallory, that uh, there's some spikes like right away before you find any money on this daily challenge. Well, I guess not because I already found it. Is this it? There, there's some spikes right away that you can pretty easily destroy yourself on. I feel like Mallory died with like zero money. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, I can see, I could see how that could have killed some people, but uh. Luckily, it did not happen to me, but yeah, I was, I was warned that those spikes were deceptively difficult to, uh, to get around. Or is it this one? There's some spikes on this level, is what I'm learning. Uh, so I just kind of want to get out of here so I don't die on the first floor to spikes, because that would be the worst. It's the worst way to end any daily challenge, is this- Oh, god, fucking damn it, I was so worried about spikes! Got to look for, uh, arrow traps, that was pretty dumb. Anyway, we're doing okay here. We're at two health. That's non-ideal for sure. But we're gonna pick up a Monty, get back up to three. We've got eight thousand. Let's not sugarcoat anything here. This is a bad start. But bad starts do not necessarily mean bad runs. No, we've definitely turned around worse starts to the daily challenge before. So let's let's go ahead and move onward to the second floor here. We should be past. The part where people say that uh, they instantly died. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll do a little better here. Well, there's an arrow trap. Let's trigger that right away. We use two bombs to get to Monty. Ah oh, man, <laughs> I kind of want to. There's some money in there as well, but I, I don't even know if I would be able to use two bombs to get in there. We could also use the idol to get in there. That scares me, but also I'm gonna do it. Because, uh, you know, there's, like, guaranteed stuff in there. Kind of forgot it would break the gyms. Well, that's okay. And we'll just hope that boulder doesn't do anything too terrible. We are gonna have to use another rope here, which is also something I didn't really anticipate. I don't really, uh, trigger boulders very often, I'm gonna be honest. They're just not, uh... Not something that figure into my play too much. Because, you know, I spend a lot of time killing shopkeepers, and the boulder is, like... One of the most disruptive, uh, you know, elements in Spelunky. You get if you trigger a bad boulder, you can destroy the Ujedi, which is something I did not consider there actually. Uh, you can kill shopkeepers. You can kill Joby. There's all kinds of stuff that can result for from a poorly considered interaction with a boulder trap. So we're just gonna get out of here. Babysit the idol and- oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> my down button did not work. That was happening to me a lot last night as well when I was streaming. My down button was like, not cooperating with me. I'm hoping it's a problem with my fingers and not my d-pad, because that would be really annoying if I had to get a new controller. But at the same time, it would be nice to have an excuse, wouldn't it? I don't know, man. First world anarchist problems. Let's go ahead and grab this skull and move onward. Hopefully Joby's not dead. Nah, he's totally fine. He's in the. He found a nice little doghouse down here. We'll stick him in the exit, <laughs> which is. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an anal sex joke here. I'm not thinking of it for some reason, but you know, stick it in the exit. Come on, it's pretty easy. I'm sure you can make your own. Okay, good. Bought some ropes for like eight thousand uh, dollars. Oh, and we can just give him that as well. Nothing too important over here, as far as I can tell. A bunch of money. If I could get back out with uh, without spending a rope, I would probably go and bomb in there. But I'm also low on bombs, so it's probably uh, prudent to just... Uh, I don't know why I tried to whip that if I wanted to pick it up. I was afraid it was going to come to life. But anyway, it's, um, prudent to save my bombs, I think. Because I've had problems lately... Are you kidding me? That's a garbage spawn. I spawned with that fucking snake already with a bullet in the air at me. I guess it's spit, not really a bullet, but still. Come on, man, this is really rude. So fuck that. Anyway, let's go ahead and move onward here. I don't think I can get to that gold without wasting resources. Check the pot. 
that is a uh, an already dead shopkeeper because he has a cape and climbing gloves which are two things I like a whole lot we'll just murder the shit out of him and take all of his stuff there's a certain point when you stock your shop with the right objects and I'm the uh, the one playing the game you're just dead already you, you've already sealed your fate there's no chance and I'm gonna be like you know what this man deserves to see his family again. It's just not not the way I roll. Drop the key down, get some more ropes. Good stuff there. There's some bombs, definitely important. Glad we've, we're finally getting some more bombs because I've been scared to use them because we haven't been getting any. And uh, this is also a little bit of a scary situation because now we don't have paste and the shopkeepers are angry with us. I always forget about that. I should really be more judicious about killing shopkeepers before I get paste because it's kind of essential for my method of killing them to be able to stick bombs to their head. We do have the shotgun, of course, but, you know. There we go. Oh, there's a, there's a spider. Okay, we can get paste. That's really lucky, actually. Because, yeah, you can, you can kill shopkeepers with the shotgun, but man, is it difficult. I'm sorry. My nose was itching so much, I just had to scratch. It was like severely impacting my play, I feel. <laughs> so I had to pause for a second there. Um, let's see here. Nothing up there. And uh, I want to use the shotgun to kill this guy so I don't have to waste bombs. That may or may not be in the cards. Definitely don't want to deal with that dude. But, uh, okay, we shoot him once like that, and now he's down. Yeah, easy. Easy, easy kill. So I do want to hurry up a little bit. I think the ghost is probably coming before too terribly long. But we have time to deal with this bat properly at the very least. Oh shit, there's the ghost. Okay, we need the key more than the shotgun, barely. We need both, really. Nice, okay. So that's taken care of, and now we can just leisurely make our way to the exit. We have paste. Oh, nice. We can actually get this Monty because we also have climbing gloves. So I was going to say we have paste so we can't get the Monty. Turns out, totally can, and we'll be taking off from this store or from this floor. Feeling actually pretty decent about our situation. It's not the best ever, but uh, we have a pretty good collection of items. We're starting to to build up our uh, our arsenal, our like required set of conditions to maybe beat the game. Let me grab Joby here. There's an idol down there. That's or not an idol, an altar. God damn it, Northern Lion, you've infected me. Your terrible speech impediment that makes you say idle instead of alter every single time, and now I'm doing it. I did not think that uh, speech defects were communicative, but, you know, learn something new every day, I guess. So we're definitely going to attempt to sacrifice Joby. God damn it. I didn't want to shoot that guy. No, Joby! God damn it, Joby. God damn it, Joby! Oh, I thought he was dead. Oh my god. I got juggled. I got juggled trying to chase Joby down. My down button wouldn't work. I couldn't pick him up. And uh, I thought he was going to fall into spikes. Wow. That was quite an end to that run. I did not expect any of that. I, the fucking skeleton coming to life was the final straw. And uh, also, I'm, I need to l watch the, uh, the replay on that because I'm really not sure how I took a couple of hits of damage there. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching, I guess. That was a big mistake. See you guys tomorrow. Almost forgot to show my position on the leaderboard. Sorry about that. Well, here I am. I, uh... Let's see if I beat anybody who... I beat Bear Tap. Oh, Bear Tap, he fell on the spikes. Last Wolf fell on the spikes. Zen probably fell on the spikes. Zero Dogs, he definitely did. Lots of, uh, lots of victims to that spike massacre. So just because of that, ended up substantially up on my friends list. But Jesus Christ. What a stupid way to go, anyway. Could have had a chance. Emerson, fucking 7th in the world with 70k. Or, uh, sorry, 700k. It's pretty silly. Red Panda Gamer did pretty well as well. Emerson got to hell that time. Emerson's real good at this game. I am, uh, I'm impressed every time I see his scores. But anyway, I, I went right in the middle. Like, I didn't do the, the awful, terrible thing of dying right away. I did a terrible thing a little bit later, and because of that... You know, I don't look too awful on these scores. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.